Welcome back to MedBoard Visuals, a focus primary care board review where you can relax and study for the boards at the same time. Now we are presently in the cardiology section, lipid disorders and treatment, subsection lipoproteins part 2, chylomicrons. Okay, let us begin. All right, so as you recall, this is what a lipoprotein molecule looks like, and the type of lipoproteins that we have are chylomicrons, VLDLs, IDLs, LDLs, and HDLs. And recall what a chylomicron remnant is. So this is what's left over after lipoprotein lipase has sucked out lots of triglycerides already. And if we take a closer look at this chylomicron remnant, we will see that there is an apoprotein E associated with it. Hmm. Well, recall the function of apoproteins. The function of apoproteins is to bind and activate enzymes or receptors. Example, apoprotein C2 activated lipoprotein lipase in muscles and fat. So what does apoprotein E do? Well, let's examine that. All right, apo, apo E receptor on chylomicron remnants bind to liver receptors. All right, so we're going to draw a liver here, and there is the liver receptor that the ApoE protein is actually going to bind to. All right, so the liver will take up the chylomicron remnant and degrade it in the liver. And what happens then? Well, two things. The liver makes either bile or it makes other molecules. It needs that chylomicron remnant. Okay, but if we look further at this chylomicron remnant, there's multiple types of apoproteins on there. So what are the other apoproteins? Well, as mentioned, we have the apoprotein C2. That's also on a chylomicron remnant. We know there's an apoE. And what's the other one? Okay, this other apoprotein is called apoprotein B48. All right, so we have EC2 and apoprotein B48 on the chylomicron remnant. So what does apoprotein B48 do? Well, it's specific to chylomicrons and chylomicron remnants. It synthesizes, this is kind of cool, it synthesizes in the intestines and plays a vital role in absorption of fats in the intestines. So it's sitting there in the intestines waiting for fats to come by. All right? Now, it represents 48% 48% of ApoB100. Now, we're going to review this in the future, so don't, don't get caught up on this right now. So a deficiency of apoprotein B48 leads to fat malabsorption. An overexpression of B48 in the intestines leads to fatty liver. Pretty cool stuff. And so you have this ApoB48 that is sitting there in the intestines whose role is to basically grab fat molecules and then facilitate uptake of these chylomicrons into the liver. So it makes sense why if you had too much B48, you could get fatty liver. If you had too little, you could get fat malabsorption. Absolutely amazing stuff here. Okay, so let's take a step back and review part one and part two of lipoproteins. Let's review what we've learned. So we have the intestines here, and we have B48, there's that B48 attached to chylomicrons. And yes, when the B48 comes in contact with the liver, it will uptake the chylomicrons. But keep in mind, we also have C2 apoproteins on the chylomicron. And the C2, when it interacts with muscle cells or fat cells, here's our gentleman with the fat belly here and fat cells, it's going to interact with lipoprotein lipase. All right, so we have lipoprotein lipase that, as you know, will suck the fat out of the chylomicrons. All right, and then we have chylomicron remnants, which is smaller than the chylomicron over to the right there. All right, so we have a chylomicron remnant. 
and it has an ApoE attached to it, or it still has an ApoE attached to it, just like the chylomicron does, and that's now going to the liver for degradation. Okay, it's degraded into bile and other molecules. Okay, fantastic. Let's do some questions here. Question number one. An overexpression of ApoB48 in the intestines may lead to hypertriglyceridemia and fatty liver. True or false? This is true. Question number two. Chylomicron remnants contain all of the Apo proteins except ApoB48, ApoC2, ApoE, or ApoD. All right, the answer here is D. Question number three. ApoE directs chylomicron remnants to the muscle, fat, or liver? All right, C, to the liver. Question number four. Once taken up by the liver, chylomicron remnants then get converted into A, bile and other molecules, or B, chylomicrons again. Answer here is A. All right, last question, number five. ApoB48 is specific to chylomicrons and chylomicron remnants. True or false? All right, the answer to this is true. All right, this now brings us to the end of this video, lipoproteins part two, chylomicrons. Join us now for the next video in the cardiology section, lipoproteins part three. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, press like, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you from MedBoardVisuals.com.